Yep, yep. Open your textbooks. Do you know the answer? Exactly! are any good. Everyone's just bitching about their parents or their boyfriends. Uh, there ain't even a hint of a hint about a new palace. We can't get everything online. Finding a post with a name and location is asking a lot. Guess we just gotta find one ourselves then. Are you seriously suggesting we look for a target that even the police have overlooked? Yeah, you're right. We should probably just hold off till exams are done with, huh? We can wait and see for a little longer, then worry about coming up empty-handed if it happens. Oh. This place is off limits, you know. <sighs> we'll get out of here once we're done chatting. Anyways, what's Miss Council President want with us? The troublemaker, the girl of rumor, and the infamous transfer student. Interesting combination. Great way to start a conversation. By the way, it seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamoshida pretty well. Anyone who attends this school would have interacted with him, whether they liked it or not. Hmm. I heard Mr. Kamoshida used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him? Mr. Kamoshida, I mean. What's all this about? My friend here's an upstanding guy. I don't mean to offend. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamoshida. The rumors about that odd calling card-esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima-senpai. I don't know that it was tactless. Anyways, we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Horseplay? Ah, yes, by the way. It's been decided that this place will be closed off due to the incident. I heard some people are coming up here without permission, after all. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. What was that about? She's on to us. That girl seems rather sharp. We should be cautious of her. She really pisses me off. Yeah, talk about a pain in the ass. That reminds me. Study hard. Especially you, Ryuji. There are bound to be traps that will need to be solved with brains. Keep in mind that everything you do in your daily lives has an impact on your abilities. True. Studying won't be so bad if we just think of it as helping us prepare to be phantom thieves. I guess you got a point. But man, it's just so lame. I was all fired up about helping people, not about studying. Well, I do have somewhere interesting to show you beforehand. You guys did originally promise to help me out with my mission, after all. Huh? Mission? Follow me. What are you bringing us here for? Just do as I told you. Alright, I've got the Phantom Aficionado website up. Now what? 
Look for a post with a full name in it. I already said, there's no info on any big shots, don't you remember? But man, people actually go put someone's real name on here. That's some scary shit. You won't listen to what I say. No, wait, there's no name on this one. Someone's badmouthing me in online chat rooms. This one's got a name. Ignore those. Aren't there any posts about more serious trouble? I don't know what to do about my ex who's stalking me. His name is Natsuhiko Nakanohara. It says he's a teller at City Hall. A government worker stalking someone? That should be a suitable target. All right, now get the meta nav ready. We're just gonna jump right into a palace? Fine by me. Hey, what happened to all that talk of unanimous decision? What do you think we should do? I'm talking about okay then let's go we need a name and a place right so the name is actually we don't need a location this time just enter exactly what I say the key word is mementos huh what are you trying to pull just listen to me it should work I think ah jeez that again uh Mementos, was it? Candidate found. We got a hit? Just as I thought. Everyone disappeared. It, it kind of feels like I'm walking on air. Is this that Nakanohara guy's palace? That's half right, but half wrong. This is a type of palace, but it's different from the normal ones. Come on, let's head down. The shadows here lurk underground. I don't quite understand why. It may be because they're drawn to something. Underground? How are we going to get there? How? You use it every day on your way to school. Follow me. Uh, wait up, cat. this place wait our clothes changed the shadows know we're here since the moment we stepped in you should have told us we're still safe right here I've come to investigate a number of times shadows never come up to this floor but it's a different story once you go down this place is simply teeming with them more importantly, what is this Mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is everyone's palace. Huh? What do you mean, everyone's? A palace as grand as the previous castle only forms when a person's wishes are extremely distorted. So instead of many individual palaces, the general public has one gigantic shared palace. That's where we are now. Mementos. Now that you mention it, this place feels a bit different from Kamoshida's palace. When you say shared, you mean they're all put together? Even though they're just strangers? Think of it as the collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. So what you're saying is, using this place, we can even change the hearts of people who don't have a palace? Correct. The steps to do so are slightly different, though. But this place looks pretty huge. Are we gonna be able to get around just by walking? It seems the time has finally come. Morgana, transform! Come now, Panther. Ladies first. A car? No way! This comes from the way cognition materializes in the metaverse. Plus a bit of extra training. It's not dissimilar to how you guys transform. You turn it into a car is totally different than our clothes changing. For some reason, cats turning into buses is an extremely widespread cognition among the general public. Why a bus, though? No idea. 
Wait, why didn't you do this at the castle? I would have if I could, but that castle was cramped. There were tons of stairs, and no way this fits on top of a chandelier. Hey, Skull! Ladies first! Hey, stop pulling me! Yo, that's dangerous! Panther, please be gentle! All aboard! Let's go! Why are you all just sitting back there? I'm a car, remember? I'm not going anywhere unless someone drives me. You can't drive yourself? Do you know how to drive? That's a bit worrying, but I'll let you handle it. I don't even have that experience to lean on. You're probably more skilled than I am, too. All right, then. We'll leave the driving to you. Now start the engine. You can't drive if it's not running. Jeez, oh, what a pain. Where's the key to this thing? Why would you need a key? There's a switch just down next to the steering wheel. <laughs> that tickles. Lower. Lower! Oh, there. That feels so good. Uh, is that Buren I hear? Oh, what a creepy-ass car. Don't underestimate my meowdery engine. We're going full throttle. It's time to fly! <laughs> <laughs> 